Hi, my name is Kristen Fannin, and I'm your account executive for OVH. Today, I want to tell you a little bit more about OVH and how we believe we can help you bridge traditional IT with the cloud. So first, I'd like to talk about three priorities we see for businesses. The first is performance, which really goes to the performance of the business. Next, we see risk because no company wants to be the next with a security breach. And finally, we see cost. And this is really how we distribute costs across the businesses. So let me tell you a little bit about OVH. OVH is a global hyperscale cloud provider that provides businesses industry leading performance and value. Now OVH is vertically integrated. And what I mean by vertically integrated is we own our own global network. We also own our own server technology. We actually bend our own metal for our servers. We also own our own data centers, where we leverage proprietary water-cooled server technology to cool our data centers and our servers. This allows us to not use air conditioning and provide not only green data centers, but cost-effective products back to our customers. Because we're vertically integrated, we're able to provide our customers industry-leading cost, uh, performance, value, customer support, and security. Now let's speak a little bit about what the data center looks like traditionally today. So let's call this production data center, which is usually accompanied by a DR data center. And in the case of customers going through M&A, this could include an additional data center, which customers are typically trying to collapse into that production site. Now within that production data center, we see physical workloads, as well as virtualized workloads. Different applications sitting both physical and virtual. Now the virtualized workloads we see consistently across customers uh, typically are VMware based and we'll talk about the importance of that here in a moment. Now what's happened in the industry and that's customers have gone to public cloud whether it's for infrastructure as a service, software as a service, or platform as a service to help them be more agile. And we've seen customers do this because 80% of resources are being spent keeping the lights on, where 20% are spent on innovation. So we see competitive companies in the market that are challenging traditional IT because they're able to consume and be more agile in the public cloud. Now, when we look at bridging this gap, we see a few misconceptions with cloud. The first is all clouds are created equal and they integrate with what you do on premises today, which we found are not the case. If we think back to these virtualized VMs, those don't integrate with the public cloud today and the way that you do business. We've also found that companies believe that cloud solves all problems, which we found is really not the case. Now let's speak a little bit for a moment on the different priorities that we see customers evaluating when going into cloud. The first is innovate. Next, how do I connect? And third, how do I protect my workloads? So let's start by talking about what OVH provides our customers. And these are three big components within our data centers. The first is HPC or hosted private cloud, which is run on VMware. So this supports VMware software defined data center. So when we think about these virtualized workloads over here, you can now port these up through the network into a data center without making any changes to the way that you do business today. These are the same tools, technologies, and for time to value, your staff can leverage the same resources they've been consuming today without making any changes. This increases your performance, reduces your risk, and reduces your cost because you're not evaluating new tools and taking more time away from the business. Next, when we think about DevOps, we'll talk about the public cloud, which for us is OpenStack. 
Now, customers running OpenStack on-premises understand that it's very cost prohibitive to do so. Uh, OpenStack for us uh, integrates with all OpenStack APIs, allowing you to port on-premises to OVH very easily. Now, finally, we have dedicated servers or what we call bare metal. Now these dedicated servers are not how you consider them in traditional cloud where it's just a separate server, but this is a dedicated bare metal server, meaning nothing is installed on this. It is truly bare metal. You have the ability here to leverage bare metal for maybe physical workloads, or if you need to bring your own operating system for something that may not fit in the hosted private cloud or public cloud capabilities within OVH's data centers. Now what's unique to OVH is we have the ability to marry these three different solutions all within the same data center. Now let's talk a little bit about connect. Not only can you connect all of these across our 12 terabit per second global network, but you can also connect all of these to our additional data centers and let's call this data center number 27 in this data center number one via the same network. So connecting all services within one data center, connecting all services across data centers, all across the same layer two. Now within that network, we have 33 points of presence globally today. For customers that need to leverage a point, point of presence, once you're on this point of presence or in this point of presence, you have the ability to on-ramp to our global backbone and leverage that across the globe within all of our data centers. Now, where this becomes very interesting is for customers that aren't just looking to extend workloads to the cloud, but are looking to fully do a data center replacement. And we think about some of these physical workloads down here that have always been an anchor for customers. OVH would suggest moving that physical workload or anchor into a point of presence, giving you now the ability to shut your data center down and leverage not only our global network to integrate all of these across the technology we call VRAC, but leverage all these other capabilities from a global perspective in all 27 and growing data centers. Now, finally, let's talk a little bit about Protect. OVH protects this solution by putting a lock around the outside with a four terabit per second global anti-DDoS protection. This is a homegrown technology and has already withstood and mitigated the largest attack on record. Now this is all from the outside and because we are truly agnostic, we allow you to leverage other technologies from the inside, like VMware's NSX technology and things like micro segmentation, allowing you to fully protect yourself. Now, when we take a step back and we think about these priorities again, the goal here is to maximize performance, reduce risk, and maximize the way that you are distributing costs, whether that's moving that 80% to 70% with keeping the lights on or 60% and allowing you more time for innovation. OVH believes we have a unique capability to bridge traditional IT with the cloud based on the different solution set that we are bringing to the industry. For more information, I encourage you to visit ovhcloud.com. And once again, my name is Kristen Fannin. And I'm your account executive. Please feel free to reach out to me for more information. I look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thank you very much.